Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're out here on Hurstburn Lane and Westport Road at the Charcoal Restaurant, Mediterranean Kitchen. So, uh, as you know, I love Mediterranean food. I just actually did a review yesterday at Simply Mediterranean, which uh, posted on uh, Wednesday, and this one won't be till Saturday. But anyway, I've had a lot of recommendations to come here, a lot of good, credible recommendations. And also, I did some research. I looked up on Google, and out of 563 reviews, they got a 4.9 out of 5. So, that's pretty good. You don't see too many 4.9s. Uh, they say middle Mediterranean restaurant, but after looking at the menu, I kind of classify it as Middle Eastern. I mean, I like Mediterranean, but I prefer Middle Eastern food. I'm all about the Arabic food. Uh, I haven't been, I had, haven't been to a Middle Eastern restaurant that I didn't like yet. So anyway, I'm not sure uh, where the family's uh, Middle Eastern influence comes here. I might talk to the owner while I'm in there and find out where they get their uh, training from. So, all right, let's go in and check it out and see what we can get. All right, while I'm waiting on my food here, I wanted to show you their uh, charcoal grilling operation here. Uh, you can see the charcoal coals down there, rotating those uh, chickens there. And you know it's authentic charcoal, the name of the restaurant, of course. That's looking good and juicy. All right, so I was just talking to the owner, really nice guy. Uh, their influence on their cooking comes from uh, Palestine. Uh, they're from the Bethlehem area, and uh, they've been here on for at least a couple years. But anyway, uh, you can tell by looking at that charcoal grill over there, the food is good and authentically cooked with the real charcoal, and I'm looking forward to getting into this. Speaking of Bethlehem, there's a, a picture of Bethlehem right there in Palestine. Very cool. All right, I got a lot to cover here. I'm going to start off with this half chicken, tabbouleh salad, and a basmati rice. Whoops, I just spilled my spicy sauce. Thank you. All right, so start digging in to this half chicken. You know what? I never proclaim to be civilized. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty and juicy. You can see the juice there, and it has that perfect charcoal flavor. Now, I gotta try it with a spicy sauce. It's called Zoo Sauce. Very tasty sauce. Let's find out what's in that. It's got a nice little kick to it. Here's the tabbouleh, which is basically the main ingredient to parsley. You have uh, tomato, onion, and it's got lemon and oil. That's really good too. And the basmati rice. Very good. All right, we'll work on some of this, and we'll move on to the next item. All right, so I just got a tip from the owner, the actual procedure, how to eat the chicken. And 
I apologize. I got one hand here. I'm struggling. All right. He said you put the garlic sauce on first. Mmm. He was right. That garlic sauce just sets it off perfect. And then he says you try with the spicy. Oh yeah. He definitely knows what he's doing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rotate bites. One with garlic, one with spicy. Delicious. I'll be back in just a minute. As you see, we have my uh, faithful friend, John, helping me uh, film today. He's got the uh, shawarma sandwich, yeah. chicken, chicken shawarma. shawarma. Chicken okay. shawarma sandwich. I mean, you've already been eating on it, so yeah. tell me what you think. I'll tell you what, this uh, rotisserie chicken that's in this thing couldn't be any tastier. And I don't know what kind of, I, I don't eat this kind of food a whole bunch, but I'm going to start doing it a lot more. Well, I appreciate Barry, you taking a leap of faith with me. Yeah, yeah. Barry's introduced me to uh, a, a whole bunch of food here that I just normally don't have, but I'll tell you what, this is good. So I tried it first, I just dipped it with that garlic sauce that he mentioned. No. Oh yeah, that garlic sauce, oh, man. man. That's something else. Awesome. Now with the spicy. Mm. I like that alternate dips, just like he said. <laughs> All right. That's way good. It's got pickle in there. It's perfect. And then I got tandoori bread and um, hummus. Okay. And uh, y'all might notice he's flossing that Goodall's Country Kitchen yep. shirt today. Got the merch on. Remind you, you can... Uh, Message me and uh, purchase some merch, $20, 25 delivered, or meet me in person out in the Middletown area. I'd be glad to meet up with you and sell you a shirt in person. Be back. I got a couple more things to eat. I'm putting on the feed bag today. All right. So if you're wondering if I finished off that half chicken, you can see I'm a Viking. So moving on. We're gonna start on this uh, falafel plate, which I don't know if you saw my previous uh, videos. Falafel is actually made from chickpeas and spices, and it's made into balls and then deep fried. And this is also vegan, so all you vegans out there, they do have vegan options. And uh, also, speaking of vegan, we got the baba ganoush. Or I'm sorry, that's hummus, and that's the baba ganoush, which the baba ganoush is made out of eggplant, and the hummus is made from chickpeas also. So, this is kind of like an appetizer in between my entrees. So, I'm going to try the hummus, which is uh, swimming in virgin olive oil. Mmm. Very flavorful. I can taste the spices and uh, the olive oil gives it a nice little taste. Now, the baba ganoush, which uh, on top of the eggplant, I see, uh, I see onion there, tomato, parsley. Very tasty. All right. Now, for the falafel, I'm actually going to try that garlic sauce with the falafel. And what's funny, before they deep fry it, the ball that they make up is green, but that deep frying gives it that uh, brown, crispy texture on the outside. Mmm. See the green in there. Oh yeah, perfect with the garlic sauce. I'm about to buy some of this garlic sauce to go. Mm. And it comes with some kind of little 
thing of side salad. I guess that's like a a cucumber salad. Mm. Everything perfectly complements each other. The falafel with the baba ganoush, hummus. It's a great combination. Make sure you get that garlic sauce to go with it. All right. Be back. I've got another entree to go. I'll be back in just a minute. All right. So, last but not least, I got a sampler plate of the chicken shawarma. This is actually probably about half the size as a regular plate. Of course, it comes with the chicken, and it's got the bas over the basmati rice. It's got tabbouleh over the top, and I also see it's got zoo sauce, and it looks like, let me make sure what we got here. It's got the garlic sauce. So, uh, the owner told me that I have to mix it up before I eat it to where you get all the flavors, and of course, the charcoal chicken you see there. That way you get all the flavors in every bite. Oh yeah, I'm salivating. Mm. Mm. I got like several different flavors just doing a break dance in my mouth here. <laughs> Kind of like my little intro clip, me dancing. That's what's like going on in my mouth right now. Me throwing some old school 80 moves. <laughs> mm. By the way, I think by the time I upload this video, I will have attached a new intro dance. More of uh, one that I did recently before I got run over by the school bus. But anyway, yeah, chicken shawarma, definitely a winner here. It's the chicken shawarma plate, not the sandwich. And if you like tabbouleh and the rice and all that, you order this and you get it all together. All right, we'll be back in a minute with some more information. Talk to you in a second. Mm. Okay, I'm going to show as much as I can, but all the tables are occupied with people. Uh, you go up there to the counter, you place your order, see they make all the food right in front of you, charcoal chicken's cooking, and they don't have many tables here and they, they're really busy, so make sure you get here early or do a late lunch, make sure you get a table. They also have a retail uh, shelf here with some different desserts and sweets, imported of course. And, uh, yeah, look around, check that out while you're here, too. All right. See, I got a little leftover plate to go. It'll be a nice little snack for later. But a uh, little info. Like it's, like I said, it's right here on Hurstburn Lane before you hit Westport Road, coming from Middletown. Nice East End location. Family has owned this uh, going on four years now. Most everybody work here, works here is family. So this is definitely the quintessential mom-and-pop operation definitely need to get out and support everything here what impresses me mostly what impresses me is the quality and the taste of the food but also the operation you see it's very organized the place is as clean as a pin uh, you can just tell you come here and it's very comfortable and cozy and the owners are very nice this is one of those places where I actually enjoy spending my money here. Not only for the good food, but you feel good about putting good money in good people's pockets and supporting local. And y'all don't know nothing about this charcoal restaurant. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Good Country 